Hey, what's up, guys? It's Oakley, and we're we'll covering Vampire Counts news. Now, the news is rather still elusive. There are a couple things that I did want to cover, nonetheless. So the first is going to be this gamer, uh, gamers global video that went up. Uh, people were sharing it on Reddit. Basically, what it seems to be is a video of these journalists going to some sort of event where they had a sort of a reenactment like a, a banquet uh, in an old town and they had actors who were dressed up like empire troops and also vampire troops um, so Vlad von Karstein is there uh, looked really really cool now the whole video is in German with some Dutch in it I believe as well so I couldn't necessarily pull out any information people haven't really looked into it and translated it as far as I can tell so I'll link that below um, but for what it seemed is just them talking about the the event, not really any new information revealed. However, at some point we do see a poster, um, and what it shows in the background is Vlad von Karstein. We see the zombie dragon in the background, and then also what appears to be a crypt ghoul. Um, so that is presumably confirming that we're going to be seeing that unit. So overall, it looked cool, and it probably hints at... Uh, the upcoming release of some information with the vampire accounts. Um, as for a date, the CA had posted in the past, uh, beware the Ides of March. So that is going to be coming up soon. So that's going to be uh, March 15th, presumably when they're going to drop some information. Otherwise, there was an interview with Simon Mann where um, Game Reactor UK had asked him some questions. And he did drop a couple hints about the vampire accounts. So he sort of reinforced a couple things. He was saying that vampire accounts rely very heavily on magic uh, to break down enemy uh, forces through sheer number of units and there are lots of throwaway units like zombies and skeletons so that's it is kind of along the lines of what we'd expect from the tabletop uh, he said quote they're very reliant on their magic to keep their armies alive sustained and still going end quote uh, he also said they have very strong flying units like fell bats to take down enemy heroes and assassinate them so again another confirmation of a unit the fell bat there and then also the mechanic that they could specifically target heroes in the background so the vampire accounts very much looking like they're going to play differently um, he says spellcasters really serve to change the tide of battle in their favor quote their army could look weak but actually through the spell casting they become, they become extremely strong and then eventually wear down the enemy end quote so that is how they play on the tabletop. Relatively small armies, but with very strong heroes and spellcasters. Um, not anything mentioned there that would hint at the ability to raise undead troops during the course of the battle. However, we have heard tidbits of information dropped about some sort of body count mechanic on the campaign map, or perhaps you have to um, gather up corpses in order in order to boost recruitment or income. So you know we're still waiting to hear on that. Now besides that, there were a couple of images released for the 12 Days of Festog, one of them showing um, vampires basically holding up different goblets, and then a picture of an empire city burning. So not too much for the vampire counts, so stay tuned for more. It's obviously going to be on the way. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, check out those videos, uh, the Game Reactor uh, Simon Mann interview, and then also the Gamers Global video. It seemed to be uh, pretty interesting, especially for those of you who can speak German. Anyways, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.